watching on some of those recap videos, there's quite a few fights on High Lungs Ford. Interesting to see, as you say, it always seems the fight seems to develop around that A point. Initially, probably around that little courtyard to the right hand side. Looks like Pongard got a few people dist as a distraction over on the B point, but mostly focusing down that breach wall and obviously opening up the gateway. Really just up it's in these sort of setup phases of. Well, Evil, you see that there's one person on B side that does have cav ready as well. So if they fully push, if they want in to flank and don't. Yeah, if they don't. They're push going in gate. And... No, look, here comes the push. Pongard mm. going through the main gateway on the A point. And and it's going. They're going right for that corner bit again. And got Falconetti going and hitting them from the backside. Ooh, this is looking. They are just swamping that corner. Loads of Winnick's going coming in, in as well. Yeah. Full defense. They are. Oh, and we got a Treb coming in. Is that Treb gonna actually hit? Because if that Treb does hit, oh, it's gonna oh. be looking beautiful. <laughs> oh. That was a nice Treb. That was a good Treb. That was, that was a really good Treb. And but the are they gonna the... win this fight though? Yeah, they've got that courtyard look. They're gonna be able to turn around now, full face, Winnex as it starts to push in. Although mm -hmm. Winnex is bringing in a bit of cavalry still. Yeah, and those, there's two muskets kind of harassing up top as well. Um, you definitely can't allow for PG here to kind of put up any artillery in this corner because if they do, no. it's going to allow them free reign on A. Yeah, they're almost safely in the courtyard, but have sort of lost control of the gateway. They're, <laughs> they're in their own mm -hmm. little island at the moment. Uh, Pongard took nine deaths over the course of this match so far for only two kills against Winnex. So Winnex yeah, certainly winning, really winning the hero fight side of things. Most definitely. We're seeing flamethrowers as well. This is I think they're going to prepare for the big push here. And you need to watch out for the flamethrowers here. They're going to be burning everything alive. So yeah, Flamethrowers are brutal. Ugh, they are so nice. <laughs> I do see a mortar here. A couple ballistas going up, which is pretty interesting. And a couple culverins. I think they're going to try and counter some of the arty on their side. But I think grape yeah. shots would have been a bit better here. But Right. Well, we'll that's, that's a strange choice for those ballistas, isn't it? You, for example, <laughs> plebs Ooh, are like the... Oh, Keshig's the going Keshigs in. Are com two, two set of Keshig's are coming in, which is not... Oh, this is not looking good. I mean, there's Mo Dao, yeah, but the Mo Dao have counter. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, wow. they stopped that Keshig charge. Nice oh, move. It's not looking and good here for win. Uh-oh. No. Pongard getting the momentum on that point, starting to clear it out, pushing in reserves from behind. There's yeah, a grape shot going. Is that as, a grape as, shot or is that a mortar? I think that's a, a grape shot coming up right yeah, now. Yeah, it's a grape and shot going down. They, that's they more do have Falcon and Gunners hitting more or less the point as well so win might be able to get this again because i think pond guard is losing the numbers here but it's going to be interesting to see because there's a lot of heroes of win here oh this is oh, oh no oh no oh only two heroes for win on the point oh no grape shots are just going crazy it's the grape shots yeah, coming in they've they, they've um pond guard have got this a point now oh yeah most but definitely. still not that much time left one minute 50 they did it in time but Show that time ticks down super quickly on this on this yeah, map. Yeah, and only eight heroes, seven heroes up for win though. They need to be careful because you can immediately go. All oh, the grape shots are helping out so much right now. Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, absolutely. Now, will Winnex defend the C point? Do you think, or do you think they're just going to pull straight back to base? Because that's what I would do. I would ignore the C point on this map. It's um, pretty equal even on hero kills and deaths. Um, Proper pushes and. Are you going to be able to beat the time here for Winx? You know, it, it's it's yeah. they're going to get a lot of time. Just... Yeah, because you, you do you do spawn a little bit away from the the home point when you're oh Pongard is pushing up though. Here we go. Yeah, they're making their move. Medal straight onto the point. <laughs> but and those versus peasants. The, <laughs> the peasants are all coming in. Here comes the peasant army. Oh no, where are surf slayers when you need them? <laughs> oh, but so many short swords. Look at so many short swords. And even Keshik's coming out. I, I think that's a out, bit but... too... Ooh. Oh, you got some flamethrowers too on the right side. As long as you keep those flamethrowers up, I think... Here know. come Pongard's own Keshik's. Look straight oh. into the Mac of sword, 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 Short Swords. Can't say the word. Oh. It's too exciting. <laughs> <laughs> too many Short Swords. They even say Short Swords. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh, Looking good Keshik's... here for Pongard. Oh my god. Gilcho's unit just got a triple kill. Nice. Oh, uh, look my... at that. Down to eight heroes left for Winnex. Oh, Looks my like Pongard is securing the point. That was just, that, that was brutal. This is one yeah. thing about the Keshigs that for sure, they do melt short swords. So especially in the tournament, when you don't have your runes or anything like that, you already know that Keshigs are just going to melt through them. It's going to be, yeah. oh. 
Keshigs are and so brutal. I just don't think Winnet had the, had the unit quality left after the no, A point. I think that's yeah. where they lost that match, ultimately. They just didn't have anything good left to defend base. Yeah, and I mean, the thing is, too, is that I think for sure they used a lot of their good units trying to save A. I think yes. when they should have noticed and maybe called back a bit, okay, we're losing A, don't waste any good units, because now you saw at the end, they had no good, good units to really stop. Yeah, first match over to them. Um, yeah, you can see, look at those deaths and how they skyrocketed oh, uh, at the end. Yeah, they